So it looks like the number plate has arrived from Tippers, well-known company. Did a good job for me on the last one I got from them for the Greaves. So I hope this one's okay as well. is that the uh, crankcase breathing is rather important and that's obviously what this uh, little stub is for on the timing side because I was just spraying oil all over the, uh, the inside of my leg so this is waterproof the boots a bit at least but uh, yeah so now I know what that little uh, stub is for so I need to connect that to something I also noticed that um, this plug was leaking as well so that seal is obviously more important than I realised.
I'm sure my C15 it made no difference at all really, but uh, well, that's what I think it was uh, spraying out, unless it was just spray from the, the other side. But I'll certainly look at that. Otherwise, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, it sounds good, the motor sounds good. Uh, it certainly pulls well. The gearing is too low, I think, for the road, certainly. I was doing 50, 55, pretty much flat out. So, um, yeah, I might look at finding a smaller sprocket. Um, but, yeah, otherwise, great fun. I already enjoyed that. You know, the minor point, I just noticed some four coil down here. So that's obviously leaking from somewhere. I assume that's from the top. Now that is quite wet up there. So maybe I've messed up that top seal somehow. I need to look at that. This side is, is okay. Yeah, it does seem to be leaking there. I'll investigate further. But overall, very pleased. Um, I think it didn't, does need a battery. I'm trying to start it and uh, took the plug out because I was struggling and there was no spark at all. So I think with the, uh, the lights on and maybe this other stuff as well, the Speedo, um, I've just got too much draw to get a good spark on the starter with a battery connected. Turn the fuel off. Um, yeah, with the battery, I was getting a really strong spark, so uh, I'm going to look at that as well. I've got a small battery in because uh, the tail light is permanently on and the, uh, so the, the speedo. Uh, what else? Not a lot else, I don't think, but uh, nevertheless, it doesn't seem to be enough to give it a good spark to start with. It's fine when it's running, absolutely fine, and nothing seems to have blown up. Nothing's over voltage playing all the bulbs or anything. So, yeah, horn works. Everything seems to work pretty much. Just a shame that it sprays oil over your leg, but that's easily fixed. Great. So I think I'm about done, really. I mean, apart from a couple of odds and ends to sort out after uh, six months since August. I'm taking the side panel off, by the way. Um, but the, the oil filter, by the way, is working okay. I, I thought when I saw the oil on my leg that a pipe had burst and it was spraying from the oil filter or something. But that's all fine. It's just that uh, breather from the timing side. So, yeah, it was uh, pretty smoky on startup, but uh, by the time I got home, the smoke had pretty much gone. So with a bit of luck, the rings might have eased up a bit after having been stood for donkish years, untouched. Maybe a bit of heat and vibration and fresh oil have uh, started to ease them up and it'll be a bit better. You never know, it might actually uh, fix the wet thumping issue. That's probably wildly optimistic, but you never know. It's just cleared a bit of gunk off the, uh, the seat of the one-way valve. Who can say? We'll see. Okay, I'll sort out these minor problems and uh, call it a day, I think. Thanks for watching.